Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another commentary done by myself, KG Flash 96. We're going to be continuing on with the Draymond Star League round of 16, Group A. We already covered Effort versus Last. Last taking that series two to one. So be sure to go check out that series. But this one is going to be Gwemchi versus Mong. We're going to have Mong as the Chill Terran spawning up at the one o'clock position. And Guan Chi as the yellow Protoss spawning at the 7 o'clock position on Fighting Spirit. So, Mong right now, I think in the scene, is one of the best players. Um, at least that's from, from what I've heard. I think he made it to like, the semifinals for one of the uh, more prominent series, I think it was the Sonic Star League. But yeah, he has been pretty good. Kwangshi, also a decent Protoss. Uh, I think he was pretty, he was like a little bit above average in the Kespa era. So we'll see if his skills transferred over. I'm not sure he's played as many games as everyone else. Um, once again, I've, I've only just kind of gone back into the scene, so I'm not quite fluent with everyone yet. So I think they're going over the statistics of Mong, talking about the both players and how they've been performing. But both players are playing standard right now, so there is not much to talk about, and I don't know much about these players. I think I should have done some research. But Guam Chi has opened up with Gas Core, Nozella at first, I don't think. Meanwhile, Mong had opened up with the Barracks first, and Gas, I think. So he's going to be going for standard, either Fake Double or Tier Expand. And Mong scouting, and he's going to be seeing last, or Guamchi second. Guamchi, on the other hand, has not sent out a scout yet. Also, Mong putting up a supply deep next to his barracks, because as you know, Zao at first is one of the most poopy openers that Paracis can do. Mong, interestingly enough, is actually scouting cross map, so he actually went from the top left and that's going to go bottom right unless he's just scouting for proxy and going back but there is a zealot from guanchi so he did go zealot first and the zealot turned around to go ward off that scv pesky little scv but they're all scouting in the same place i'm not sure why um guanchi should kind of know that this is a that SCV wouldn't be coming from there. The Zell is trying to see what SCV is. There's also a Dragoon that's also going to scout to the top left-hand position. So both players are going to scout each other dead last. But there are four Marines up at the top of the ramp with the factory. So there will be a tank coming out soon. We'll be able to ward off any kind of early pressure. The SCV is going to see the Dragoon, and the Dragoon is going to try to block the ramp. As you know, Dragoons are fast, but oh no. Oh, there's a probe at the top. There you go. He's going to be able to snipe the SCV. The probe is going to pop down a Nexus. Meanwhile, the first Zella and Dragoon are right outside of the base of Mong. And he's putting down a command center after tank. He's going to push out now with the four Marines and Tang. going to try to push away any of the units that Gramsci has. And it's probably open up with Mines first as a standard with this kind of build. The both players playing relatively standard. The Zell's going to come in here with two Goons. And he's just trying to get a pick off some of the Marines. But the Tanks are going to try to get a lot of damage on the Goons. One of your Goons is almost dead. But the Marines are almost dead as well. Uh, Zell picked up two of the Marines, and you might be able to snipe the tank right now. The tank is really low. There is a Vexile, but the tank is super low right now, but he's able to kill off the Zell before it goes down. 
both your dreams not dying yet, but they are very, very low. A great micro by Grumchi losing a zealot for all four of the marines and getting a lot of damage dealt onto that tank. But mines are out now, so Grumchi cannot push forward unless he wants to lose both of these low health dragoons. And Mong gonna repair it back to full health. But Grumchi now moving his dragoons kind of back into his base, I think, to replenish his shields before pushing out. The bat's now lifting up and it's going to go plop itself down at the expansion. And Mong Standard getting up a second barracks. Or a second factory. So the observatory now coming out, so he's going to be able to see the mines. Oh, but there is reverse. So we're going to see the first kind of build deviation that we've seen in a while. Reavers has not been very common lately uh, as far as the games I've casted in the Pro S vs. Terran matchup. We're going to see how much damage this reaver harass can do. He's going to try to ward off the vultures from doing any of the harass and from seeing the shuttle. But now, Gramshi going to move out with that Reaver Dragoon and see if he can do some economic damage. We'll see though. Um, if he doesn't, I don't think it's going to hurt him too much. Plus, the shuttle is also very useful anyways later on in the game. But I think uh, Mon was actually going for a semi-push. He's dropping the Dragoon, I think, to build some more scarabs. And then going to pick it up immediately again. Imagine there was like just two mines right there when he dropped and you just didn't see, and then the Reaver got killed. That'd be pretty funny. But there are some mines out in the middle of the map randomly from Mong. But the shuttle has been seen, so I think Mong now knows what's up with the Reaver. He does see the Reaver, reveals it. But we're actually faster than slow Reaver and slow shuttle, so he would just kind of run away. But here comes the Reaver. We're going to see how ready Mong is for this. Does he have any turrets right now or not? The shuttle is also scouted that third base of Mong to see if he's taken a really greedy early third. But now here comes the shuttle. But there are some mines and a turret going up. We're going to see, oh, shuttle speed kicking in right as he flies over and he's off the Reaver. It's a good amount of SCVs and a Marine. That was a pretty good shot from the scarab. And he's just going to fly out. So upgrade a very early shuttle uh, shuttle speed. He might actually be going into more shuttle harass. Well, there are observers out now, and they're going to be scouting the base of Mong. Commentators pointing out there's a hidden Spider-Man behind one of the trees. Really nice feature from Mong. But here comes Harass. He's actually got a lot of vultures here. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, Grimshi's going to be able to do this properly. A lot of spider mines are out right now. Here comes spider mines. They're going to drive into one of their dudes. It hits one of them. But it's going to be able to take out a few of the probes. But not as much damage dealt as he wanted to. There are some turrets out at the natural base now. But he's also pushing out across the map with three tanks and a few marines. I'm not sure how effective this will be. Um, oh, the marines should have flying over them, but... The Marines don't do that much damage. Interestingly enough, he's got no second machine shop. Usually, you, you like to see Terrence get a, a second machine shop on the second factory, and then getting none. And he's actually pushing in here to the third base of, uh, of Gorichi, and he's actually got two spider mines very smartly placed right here, and he's going to siege up on the high ground. So, this third base might have to be forfeited from Gorichi, so it's a really smart push here from Mong. But at the same time, Gorichi is able to snipe some reinforcements from Mong, and Mong is not going to be able to reinforce this with another tank, few vultures, and SCV. He's not going to be able to put down that turret, so the shuttle is going to be able to freely drop over them. But in the meantime, Gorichi is going to go for a counter attack with the shuttle and see if he can do some more economic damage now that the units of Mong are not there. He's going to fly right into a shuttle with some mines. There's two reavers out now. They're going to snipe that turret. And now he's going to fly into the middle line. There are some mine mines. Oh! Big Mako Dread hits both the reavers and the tank shot. That was huge. That was absolutely huge. Oh no, Kovichi was not paying attention fast enough. And the mine and tank did so much damage. Oh my goodness, that is awful. And Grimshi's lost a lot. 
a lot of pressure from those two Weavers. And Ma didn't really lose much, you know, he lost a few SCVs in the very first drop, but the second drop, he only lost a turret and a uh, spider mine to deal with it. And so, wow, is Ma in a great position right now. He doesn't have to deal with the double Weaver anymore, and... Man, that's just a big hit. I mean, think about it. Two Weavers? I don't know how much Weavers cost um, exactly. I think they're like, what, 200, 100? But that's a lot. That's a Nexus and 200 gas right there that could have been used. But he's going to be the face of our unit here to the third field to deny this SCV building the command center. He's got a few zealots. Uh, but meanwhile, Mong is, uh, has units a little bit misplaced, not in the middle, they're in the middle of the map. He doesn't have some units here back at home to deal with this force, but he's got speed versions coming back in. Uh, Grand Machine, in the meantime, is going to go pick up another expansion at a different, uh, unorthodox guy in the third position, since he knows that Mong will try to push into that old three, uh, the nine o'clock base. And that's exactly what Mong's doing right now. He's actually pushing again to that nine o'clock without scouting where the other base is. In the meantime, Grumchi is getting that Stargate, but notice, I, don't, I haven't seen a city of Adun yet, so this might be a very late Arbiter tech. Uh, again, it's not optimized, he didn't get the Citadel, but there's Goliath, he's got Simon Shuttle, and Marines! Oh no, Grumchi's not micro very well this game, and these tanks, 6 tank push, with a good amount of Goliaths and Vultures, are, this is going to be able to do a lot of damage against Grumchi, Grumchi doesn't really have much, the probes are transferring now, the Vulture Seer, uh, Martin knows what's up, he's got Shuttle, and these are picked up by the, by the Goliaths and Marines, he only told me to go two zones uh, here. And he's going to try to surround these tanks with the dragoons, but there's not enough dragoons. There's a lot of tanks in the back as well. They might be outside with the front tanks, but the bad tanks are going to be able to kill off more of the dragoons. Actually, I was wrong. Grimshi was able to effectively deal with this. I thought there was a lot more tanks, but I feel like those Zero Bombs actually did a lot more than I expected. In the meantime, uh... Mong trying to force his way up the ramp, and he does. He's going to be able to plant spider mines up here at the top, and he's going to snap out a lot more probes and put spider mines. He's going to be able to deny mining again at this third base. So in the meantime, even though Mong's push did not succeed, he's able to uh, deny mining at the third. Meanwhile, his own third. Oh, big mine drag! Look at all the dragoons! Grimshi's micro has not been on point this game. So again, Mong is on three base mining right now, and Gremchi, on the other hand, is only on two base. Oh, but thanks for the, taking the probes! Good, great job by, uh, by Mong, and he's gonna snipe the probes as they transfer back. Mong has, like, great awareness of, of how to position. The tank's now below the pylons, so this is why these pylon blocks may or may not be the best for Paralysis, as Terran can actually abuse them for, and put tanks below, although Zealots can de uh, deal with these effectively by running through. He's got their Templar right now, that we're going to be able to take down those two tanks pretty easily. But again, Mong is on very comfortable three base mining while Gremchi did lose a bunch of probes. And he's got more focus in. He knows that there's no more pile now. He has scanned the third Templar, but a but great job by Gremchi is able to put up another pile on wall right before the Vulture is able to get up. In the meanwhile, Mong finally getting some more machine shops. He's really going to focus on Vulture Harass. But that means that his tank count is not going to be the highest. But he's got a dropship with two tanks. He's going to go harass his third base again with uh, a flank from the Vultures. But there is a no another pylon they're blocking in case he snipes the weakened pylon. We'll just here at the 9 o'clock position, sniping a Dragoon, seeing if there's another base from Grumpshi. But I doubt at this point that Grumpshi even has a economy to take a fourth, even if he wanted to. Dragoon is going to try to ward off these Vultures. But I think the Vultures are going to easily surround and put mines all around the Dragoons. We're going to see how good Grumpshi's micro here is, unless he can do well. But here come the mines. Big mine here against kills two Dragoons, and the Vultures pick up the rest. So yeah, Grumpshi's micro has not been great. He's been getting surrounded by these Vultures, but the Speed Shadow is able to drop some Dragoons, I think, uh, onto this base. But again, these Terrans are really liking this uh, dra uh, this dropship to move the two tanks with Speed Vultures, since tanks are not very mobile. But they're going to be able to do some more damage here at the third base. I really want to see Gromshi go for a pincer right now. He's only moving his units ahead. But here, Mo continues to put uh, mines everywhere around the map, and... Gremchi is trying to deal with it. He does manage to deal with it effectively by losing two vultures for the price of everything else. But these vultures are killing off all of these zealots before they can do some damage to the tanks. Meanwhile, the tanks on the low ground are going to be able to do a decent amount of damage to these tanks. And Gremchi, overwhelmed by the harass and multitasking of Mong, is going to have to GG. Miss Micro early on, really cost in this game. Losing those two rivers is really huge. And we're going to see you guys in set two between Gremchi versus Mong.